on Asia Down Under, an exhibition marries the urban and the wild, kicking the cycle of abuse and the Kiwi Chef finalist at the Global Chefs Challenge. Hello and welcome to Asia Down Under. Despite surviving the recession, New Zealand still has a significantly high rate in unemployment. Thousands of young men and women come out of school each year to go straight into the uncertainty of joblessness. But a work preparation course is helping change that. I went to Wellington to find out more. Not many would associate military marching with a work preparation course for unemployed youth. But that's precisely what this is. The Limited Service Volunteer Scheme run by the New Zealand Defence Force for the Ministry of Social Development at Trentham, Wellington. The goal of the course, to train and equip 18 to 25 year olds with life skills that help them find gainful employment. Each company comprises 150 young trainees from around the country. And no, this is not a boot camp. We don't even refer to our own military training as boot camps, so it's kind of a mischievous title. They're more motivational training for young people who are perhaps challenged in the employment market. So we just instill into them some of the values that NZDF lives by, you know, courage, integrity, commitment, plus a whole range of other skill sets. The course started 23 years ago and has been running full for the past year, with New Zealand unemployment rates at an all-time high. What they want you to do on Monday is ring the... LSV's National Coordinator Daljeet Singh is now on her 15th year of working with youth. I worked in the youth prison and I worked for working income for 15 years but this is the first job that I see the start, the middle and the end. I see a motivated, supercharged motivated person who's ready to take on any challenges that they have in life. When trainees Timothy Singh and Samrits Rathol signed up for the free course, they had no idea what they were really in for. Yeah, I was going down the wrong path. I was hanging out with different crowds and smoking stuff that I shouldn't have been. I uh, decided to join so I could sort my life out and work on things that I needed for my job, like job skills, and I wasn't doing much at home, so I thought this would be a great experience. When I came here, I got a bit of a shock to see there was a bit of marching involved, discipline, there are heaps of, a lot of things. I had no, nowhere else to go. So this was one, one of my options, you know. One door closed, another one opens. This was my door, walked through. <laughs> I came here and, yeah, straight into, like, military stuff there. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Within just a week at LSV, they were all ready to give up. The strict regimens and long, hard days that begin at 5 a.m. is a world away from familiar comforts. Because they're homesick, they're not used to the environment, that, like the physical side of it, the discipline side of it, they're not used to any of that. So to get them through that first week is quite a lot of hard work. I wanted to quit. I was getting a bit angry and frustrated, but um, I rang up my nan and she convinced me to hang in here and stay hard. She said, um, stay in there, boy, stay hard, you're doing well, and... She said it won't be long and six weeks will go like nothing. And I stayed in here and yeah, it went, like, it went pretty quick for me. Lucky I stayed in here too. <laughs> Relying on newfound camaraderie and perseverance, the trainees find the strength to keep going. Most people here are like, you know, from different backgrounds, cultures and stuff like that. We just ended up just bonding together. So far, they've swum icy cold waters in Waiuru canyoned, camped, and run endless fitness tests. Plenty of moments where they've wanted to call it quits. Out of 150 trainees, only about 90 have stuck it through. Uh, the importance of, of this last sort of competition is them, the whole course has been as them working as a team, but today is them working as an individual. Uh, the times and everything are broken down as an individual, so they can see how far they've progressed themselves with the goals that they've set throughout the course, uh, but also they can see how, if they run hard, how that time affects the other, the team as well. Yeah, you two, come here, come here, come here. Stay behind. You know, if you've got any concerns or anything, me and Bonnie are right behind you. You've got my LSV also monitors their mental training by helping trainees deal with troubled pasts and issues through counselling. 
every staff member has gone through their own hardship at one point or another, and we all share that with the youth, you know, and that we, we were once there, you know, we were young, we made the same mistakes, but look at us today, and we can help you, and um, just to give them the right tools. Is that all of the work? There's also CV writing, role play, interview training, and presentation, all to create a more work-ready candidate. Through work and income, employers from across the country visit the three nationwide camps looking for recruits. The graduates from the LSV scheme come out and they're motivated, they're looking for a, a way forward in the future, they're physically fit and gen generally just looking at getting ahead, so it's a bit of a breath of fresh air. On the social side of things, it's, it's um, you're giving people a hand up who started a, a, a way forward. So. After a final ceremonious march out, these three platoons will make their way home with lessons of a lifetime learnt in just six weeks. It has been quite hard, difficult, challenging also, but um, I reckon we, we, oh, myself, I get like a, you know, big smile on my face just because I know that I've done it. The most important things that I'm taking back is uh, life skills, educational skills, and so I can take them back out to the workforce for myself. Case managers from WINS will follow the trainees' progress, continuing the cycle of mentoring and motivating. At the end of their course, both Timothy and Samrith were successfully recruited into full-time jobs, where they'll be sure to carry the values learnt at LSV with pride. To recommend the free course to someone you may know, visit this website.